like your right hand. Giving people a couple of less seconds here as they're populating, waiting. Our attendees begin to come over. So I would like to welcome everyone here. Um, here, let's see. As long as nobody's looking. All right. So uh, welcome to the Team Made monthly meeting for January of 2022. Can't believe I'm saying that already. Uh, in any case, uh, welcome. Uh, welcome one and all. Make sure that uh, I'm sharing the correct screen. Yep. Okay. So, uh, welcome 2022. So, who is Team Made Real Estate? We are the largest and longest running real estate investing network in the province. We're the only free real estate investing club, and we're a collection of like minded individuals, service providers, and business sponsors. We are a learning platform and we have local and national experts. The Team Made Real Estate Academy comprises over 150 students, affiliates, and companies across North America. And we also have US partners and coaching options, as well as our whole e-learning-based program. So Team Made Real Estate puts on these free monthly events. We have workshops every Tuesday night with Coach Vishal and myself. Uh, we do bus tours, and we can help you find a power team uh, put together joint ventures, do networking, help you find money, and help you find deals. And we have the educational component, which comprises a post-secondary education style program uh, comprised of essentially what is a bachelor, master's degree, and PhD. We give you a get your deal done assurance with no catch and release. So what that means is we're not like one of those traveling road shows that will show up in your town and give you the promise of real estate investing education you know, from somebody that you see on HGTV. Uh, but then like, you know, when they pack up their, uh, their, uh, their banners and their program and all that stuff, you know, they leave the hotel and they're on to the next city and you're on your own. Uh, we have no annual fee. It is a lifetime. You join the team. You're part of the team for life. We have one-on-one -on -one mentorships. We do field trainings. And of course, uh, as we were chatting about beforehand, we have video and audio trainings. And if you've done the video and audio, you've probably heard my voice before. Um, and when you join the team, you're part of the family. And here's our brochure. So if you were here in person, you would see one of these in-person brochures. It uh, provides for basically finding out what it is that you're interested in and when you would like to set up a strategy session with one of our coaches. So why do we have this deal done assurance? Well, the deal done assurance means that you have a confidence level that the money that you spend on yourself, that you invest in yourself is going to be put to use. Between all of our advisors and our coaches, they have the knowledge and the ability to help you apply that knowledge. Knowledge in and of itself is not any good if you cannot apply it. So you can read all the books in the world say, read all the books in the world on flying an airplane. I still wouldn't want to get in an airplane with you the first time, right? It just doesn't work that way. You need to apply that knowledge to develop the experience. Because once you've had the experience then of flying an airplane, once you've logged your thousands of hours of flying, then you're going to have the confidence. And other people are going to have the confidence. Partners are going to have the confidence that you know what you're doing with real estate investing. And as you develop that confidence, you're going to gain momentum you'll be able to get more and more and more properties. And of course, in Team Made, we also have a full chat system. That we have Telegram. Uh, so the Telegram is, I'll just show you here on my phone. So there's a full-blown Telegram with you know, an ongoing chat all the time. And so you can see that there's people talking every day, all the time. We also have a Facebook group, so you can get support that, that way as well. And you might be saying, well, but I can't do that. Well, sure you can. You see, your words are going to limit your ability to succeed. If you say it to yourself, well, yourself will start to believe it. Your thoughts are then going to limit your ability to succeed. And if you're thinking it, then you're emotionally going to begin to limit your ability to succeed. And ultimately, the relationships, the people around you, they will start to limit your ability to succeed. 
So let's just have a look at this picture here. So that's, that's me. And I've got a bar over my head that well, weighs well over 100 pounds. But you'll see off to the side there, there's, a, there's another gentleman, an older looking gentleman. Now that's Terry. Terry has actually been Olympic weightlifting since he was 13 years old. Terry is in his 60s now. He's got over 50 years of experience. He's been to the Pan Am Games. He's been to the Nationals. He's been to the International Weightlifting Championships. He holds records here in Canada. So do you think for a second that after 50 years, Terry can't look at me and figure out what I'm doing wrong? He's only seen it thousands of times before, the mistakes that I'm making, the, the thinking that I'm having that's limiting my ability to be confident in putting that weight over my head. So with the input from my coach, from Terry, from his years and years of experience, he's able to coach me up to the point where I can confidently put a bar over my head that weighs more than I do. And if I were to drop that bar, well, it's happened before where people have dropped a bar on their head and ended up paralyzed. So there is actual risk involved in that. And with the, with the help of a coach and the coach's experience, though, I can confidently do that and not have the fear, not be limited in my ability to succeed. So as one of our coaches, Nelson Camp, talks about, you want to design your lifestyle. You want to see your future lifestyle. You want to see how you're going to see the world unfold before you. And you speak to the eventuality of the lifestyle that you design for yourself in your own head. And by doing so, you're actually able to take those thoughts that are in your imagination, those plans that you design, and actually create that lifestyle. And real estate can be the tool to help you create that lifestyle. So at this point, I want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsors because these meetings are free to you, but they're not free. There are costs involved. So thank you to Ray Penner of Ray Penner Photography. He's a great real estate photographer. Christian Narcisco from Visual Media, who does all kinds of great video work. Alvin Bali from Caesarstone Canada and Dulux Paints by PPG. And Michael Reimer and Corey Vlaming from Vulcan Construction. And they also have a couple of other companies, Affordable Junk Removal and Affordable Bins. Now, our other sponsors there, uh, we'll be mentioning them a little bit later in the presentation. So one of them, Ryan Siemens, I want to mention right now. Team Made Academy would like to announce our newest exclusive sponsor, Ryan. He is an independent insurance broker with Keystone Insurance Agencies. Ryan has many years of experience in helping business owners and real estate investors with their property and liability insurance needs. Now, while Ryan and his family reside in Winnipeg, he regularly travels throughout all of Manitoba visiting clients in person to provide service and safety evaluations. So whether your property is going to be a flip, a buy and hold, a burr, or an Airbnb, Ryan can provide the right coverage for your real estate success. And Keystone is an independent brokerage with local ownership that are actively involved to ensure their clientele receive the attention they deserve. While the name Keystone is new, it is an amalgamation of many experienced independent locations who join together. Many of these brokerages are multi-generational. They often are rewarded with stories from clients that their parents or even their grandparents have been dealing with these brokers and remain honored to continue to serve the, their families for years to come. And I also wanted to mention uh, a shout out to our legal sponsor, Brendan Mahatu. And uh, Brendan and I spoke earlier today. He was supposed to be here, but he has actually come down with COVID. So I'm hoping him a speedy recovery. And in our student success stories, I wanted to also mention that our coach, Vish Vishal Guliani, his newest student, uh, Emil Norbert, is actually standing in front of his first house. And are you going to come and say something, Vishal? Uh, yes, it does. So. I can pass the mic to you and I'll switch the camera to you, so. Hey, uh, I just wanna highlight Emil's success here. He joined us not too long ago with the group. I wanna highlight Emil's success here. He joined us not too long ago in the group training and came on the calls and he didn't tell me and he got one property put to the group and then we went one-on-one -on -one. and within six days, Emil picked up this gem right here that he's standing behind. 
so excited to see him do the work to this property. There's six figures of a margin here to play with, and he's absolutely going to crush it here. So I want to give a round of applause to Amal on the second deal here. Thank you. And thank you, Vishal. And Vishal, did you want to uh, maybe do our January, uh, the, the real estate update? No. Okay. All right. So now uh, I, I was going to say our uh, realtor sponsor, Daryl Walsh, has actually uh, got uh, houses to show and clients to meet with tonight. So he asked me to, uh, to do this uh, January real estate update for him. So I'll just uh, go through it quickly here. So there's Daryl in the ice cube. As we can see, though, all real estate markets are local. And I'm sure uh, our, uh, our panelists who are on tonight from, uh, from Calgary and Vancouver are looking at these numbers and laughing uh, that, uh, that prices could be so cheap. So uh, take advantage of that, folks in Winnipeg, mm -hmm. that uh, this is still a great opportunity for real estate uh, here in, the, uh, in Winnipeg. And I think the prices might be a little low because of how cold they are. Um, so in any case, here's our year to date. And this is actually our numbers for, um, for the entire 2021 year. And we can see that sales were up over 10% from last year, but new listings are down 3% from last year. So what's that going to mean for anyone that's done supply and demand? They know that there's going to be a result to that. And that result is the 11% price increase over last year. So we see what happens when there's no supply and a lot of demand. The prices go up and they go up double digits. So in our residential attached sales report, duplexes, big unit sales increases. And as a duplex owner, I like that prices have gone up. But as someone who wants to buy more, I'm upset that prices have gone up. So it's always a double-edged sword. Townhouses have also seen a jump both in sales and prices since last year. And of course, our single attached has had a great increase in unit sales as people upgrade their houses. But they've actually experienced, surprisingly, they've experienced the smallest amount of growth uh, over last year. And then here's our December numbers for 2021. Average home price of 330, which is, of course, an increase over the year to date. So again, prices are going up on our residential attached. That would be your townhouses. Condo sales report. Condos, big, big growth in sales over last year, almost 40%. And that's been a very, very good thing for condo, uh, condo owners, people that we're trying to sell. Our condo sales activity shows an average price 243 on just under 1,000 square feet which is actually just down, but you can see our square footage has come down too. So that extra $1,000, that's where that factors in. Our residential detached, that's our single family homes. Average price, 382 on 1,350 square feet. And that's showing continuing to climb. Not a lot, but $3,000 on essentially what is the same square footage. So str strong sales, strong price increases, still continuing. And there's our 2021 sales comparisons. I'm not gonna read through all these numbers, but the big ones there is that you can just see that your unit changes. It's growth, 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 and more growth. Everything is growth. <clears throat> so thank you, uh, thank you to Daryl for putting this together. And uh, now we're just gonna talk very briefly about our mindset. So this is the start of the new year. This is January. This is where everyone makes their, their new year's resolutions. And I want you to take for a moment to think about your mindset. You are already giving your life for what you're doing. What you do every day is actually one day of your life. And we only have about 10,000 of those. So how do you actually have a successful life? You have it, if you think about it, simply by having a number of successful days, a series of them. And it's not the number of actions per day that lead to a successful day. It's the efficiency of each the efficiency of what you get done and the things that you want to get done that you actually map that matter to you. So you want to take a list of six things, prioritize them and prioritize them in such a way that number one is the most important thing to you. 
Maybe that's your family, maybe that's your spouse, but something like that. And you make sure that whatever's on your list, you do it number one to completion before you move on to anything else. So that the things that are most important to you stay what's most important to you. And by making those decisions, you actually remove the doubt, take away the fear, take away the worry, and it will bring order to your life. And the law of cause and an effect says that you will have success guaranteed. So we're just going to have a brief word from Bob Proctor about changing your paradigm. So instead of making a New Year's resolution and trying to quit smoking or lose weight or join a gym or something like that, you're not going to get any real success from that. You're going to have success when you actually realize what's underlying that. What is the paradigm that you're living in and then how to change that paradigm? Everybody dreams of being a millionaire. You believe everybody can be a millionaire. Why? Well, I think there's an infinite source of supply. We've been endowed with mental faculties that the most erudite scientists won't even guess at. Um, I think most people wander around in a deep sleep and they don't think, they don't invest in themselves. Um, and the second they wake up and start doing that, everything starts to change. A million dollars is not a lot of money. We're creative beings. We're working with an infinite power. And once we start to understand the power of our mind and then start to understand how to utilize it properly, then we'll understand that we can do virtually anything. We are spiritual beings living in physical bodies. And we've been gifted with something called an intellect. The great law, briefly and simply stated, is that if you think in negative terms, you will get negative results. If you think in positive terms, you will achieve positive results. He went from 4,000 a year to over a million a year in under five years. And then he was so fascinated, he had to know why, so he started to study it. And that's where he really gained a deep, deep, deep understanding of paradigms, conditioned way of thinking, why we do what we do. Thinking of why you can't do something is never going to do you any good. And keep thinking until you start to think of thoughts of how you can do it. And the way will be shown to you. It comes in the form of images in our mind. Think of how you can and not why you can't. There is a place. Don't let it fade. When your mind goes there, Make up your mind, it's going to stay there because it is a place. I don't care what the thought is. Doesn't matter what the image is. If your mind can go there, you can physically go there. If a person's skin is a different color, we say they're different. If a person lives on the other side of an imaginary line, we say they're different. If a person speaks a different language, we say they're different. If a person is a different sex, we say they're different, are they? No, they appear different to our sight. But when we develop a higher understanding, we're gonna find out that we're all the same. Who am I? Well, that's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. And I believe if a person will start to study that and look for the answer, they'll find it. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify Right. So it's always difficult to advance the slides when we're playing videos here. And now Tony Robbins is going to take a second to tell us about finding your joy in 2022. What does it really mean to be truly happy? Most people have all these reasons why they can't be happy when the truth is happiness is a decision. People are as happy as they're committed to being, but more people are committed to having life be a certain way than they are being happy. And you know what, in our culture, we don't seem to value happiness at the highest level. It's crazy, live in the world where there's so much available to us, so many freedoms, so many choices, but we forget the ultimate power is happiness. Happiness is an ultimate advantage. Happy people live longer, it's proof. And, and most people think somehow happiness is out of their control. They have to try to chase it and find it somewhere. 
most of the time we're getting the way of our own happiness, aren't we, honey? Yeah, we sure do. Sometimes we get so stressed about, you know, what we're supposed to do or what we're supposed to buy and be playful, have fun. One of the unexpected gifts, we're all looking to give a physical gift, but the gift of our joy, the gift of all these attributes of our presence, of our gratitude to show up and to offer that, our nature is to be joyous. And it's just beautiful to have that awareness so we can cultivate it in our lives. So do what all great human beings do that find joy. Make the decision to be joyful. Make the decision to be happy. Make the decision to find the good. Make the decision to appreciate as opposed to judge what's happening in your life. It's maybe the most important decision you're gonna make in this lifetime because without it, everything else in life feels dull, but with it, everything in life is lifted. There's an intimacy when we step into what life is offering us. It's beautiful because as I've aged in life experience, if there's anything I've realized is that happiness is now. Happiness is when we drop the expectation that life should be different other than what life is offering us. We don't have the privilege to repeat this moment. This very moment is precious. And I think that that's probably been the greatest gift of my own awakening or waking up uh, just to this precious moment of life and, and not wanting to sacrifice uh, trying to chase it rather than living it. Why not go for causeless joy? You don't need a reason to be happy. There's so much something to be happy for already. Bring back that childlike awe and the wonder that comes from just being present in the moment and remembering how lucky we all are to be alive. You don't need an excuse to feel good. Give yourself the gift of pure joy, and if you give that gift to yourself, it will be the ultimate gift you give everyone that you love. Thank you for spending these weeks with us, checking in with us. It's been a joyous time to be with you. And thank you, my sweet love, for the joy you give me every day of my life. There's no greater gift in my life. Thank you for joining us. God bless. All right. Thank you, Tony. And now we come to our featured presentation uh, from Sherry White. And uh, Sherry, I've got your bio up here, but uh, I don't know if you want me to read through it or if you just simply want to introduce yourself and take over sharing your own screen. Yeah. Um, thanks so much for having me uh, here tonight. I uh, really appreciate uh, the opportunity to share a bit of my story and my experience in real estate. Um, I have to be quite honest that when I read my bio, I am still a little bit taken back because um, this has not been my entire life. Uh, and so I'm like, sometimes I think, is this, is this really me? Like, is this, is this bio actually match my picture? Um, and I think that when I'm not feeling well, I'm going to uh, read it. <laughs> I'll read it every morning to go, yeah, that is you. That is you. But I have been blessed to have affirmations, right? <laughs> um, I've been blessed to have a lot of uh, success in real estate and I think a big part of that success in real estate is because of um, using it I mean, no less people have been successful in real estate without using it but um, I use it as a vehicle uh, to um, change my neighborhood to help people that are uh, leaving addictions and a dangerous lifestyle um, that need housing. That's what I've used it in the past. So it's not just about purchasing, like it's not the birth system. Um, there's another, um, another initial on that end of the birth system, which is a social justice uh, piece. And I'm definitely all about social justice and redistribution redistrib of wealth. Um, and uh, I, I know that real estate is definitely a powerful vehicle that can be used in order to make that happen. And that's really what uh, one of my dreams is, is to see my neighborhood in the downtown east side uh, revitalized completely, um, where the poor not only have homes, but through the rent to own model, um, actually have an opportunity to own their own home. Um, on an aside, uh, I have done a, quite a bit of research um, about what does it take? The question is, what does it take to revitalize an entire neighborhood? So not just build one multifamily development, but what does it look like to build a community center? What does it look like to build an artist uh, community, uh, an artist uh, commu yeah, community within uh, the community? 
Uh, what does that look like to build a theater? Um, all these kind of things. What does it look like to build a school and a library and a grocery store? Um, so it's, if you can envision with me, it's a whole uh, uh, five block radius of 10 different properties that I am, this is what excites me uh, in the morning is that when I get out of bed, um, that there's a big challenge in front of me. Um, and I know just like the videos that you showed and like what you were talking about earlier, Keith, was that I can't do it all on my own. It's the partnerships, it's the coaching, it's the people that have gone before me um, that have been successful. And uh, on the topic of um, social justice and redistribution of wealth, there was one of my mentors and you can look him up, his name is James Rouse. And uh, you can go to YouTube like I did and watch his story, hugely um, inspiring uh, story. And he developed a, a place called Columbia in the States in the, in the 60s. And he decided that 50% of his properties were going to be for um, white people and 50% going to be for black people. And once he had reached that point, uh, he wasn't just going to keep selling his properties to uh, you know, people that had influence, but rather he would, um, yeah, he sold it to some black families. And there's this piece on his YouTube that is a beautiful story. It's a three second clip where this one woman says, because of James Rouse, and because he allowed our family to purchase home, to purchase our home in this neighborhood, uh, we've left poverty and we're never going back. And so I just wanted to use that example at the beginning of my presentation of the, the power of real estate and how it can be used in order to change lives. If we think outside the box, uh, I think that's one of the coolest things about my, myself and steadfast developments is that we look at systems and we say, okay, that's nice and that works for this, but what if, hugely powerful words, what if we took this system and we applied it to this problem and we had a solution? Um, and that's where we start to get, you know, really uh, weird ideas around um, allowing people that would otherwise would be in poverty a rent to own uh, system within one of our buildings. So um, a few, so that's, that's a little bit about what I'm doing right now. Uh, my history, actually, um, I'm, I come from a Salvation Army um, home. And so justice was uh, a big piece uh, in my culture. I'm very proud of that Salvation Army background. Um, I no longer, am a, uh, I don't go to a Salvation Army anymore, but um, I was raised in that, uh, that environment. And I'm really proud of the work that my grandfather did was he, when he went and visited people in, in jail. Um, so that's kind of my background and that's where kind of my thoughts uh, been formulated and been influenced. Um, and so my husband and I, uh, I became pregnant with my first child. I have four children and uh, we thought to ourselves, you know, where, where should we settle down and, uh, and raise our family? And uh, we had a, an interesting offer to come and be a part of a Salvation Army community in the downtown side. And we immediately looked at each other and said, yes, this is exactly where we need to raise our four children in Canada's poorest coastal coast. So uh, without a doubt, that's, that's basically the, the short version is that we moved into a community called 614 in the downtown east side. Um, where it wasn't a regular, like, go to church on Sunday kind of model, but it was um, really living out your faith, allowing people to come in and share meals together and share your home together. Um, and so that's, that's how I got to the downtown east side. And when I discovered the people that lived here and their needs, which is affordable housing, um, it just made sense for me to go into real estate. Um, which is a little kind of funny that I went from being part of the Salvation Army to real estate. Uh, and, uh, but I, I did it because I saw the need of my friends that were able to get their lives back together. They were um, able to find a job, but they couldn't find housing. And so that uh, just springboard me into how do I, as an entrepreneur, how do I solve this problem? And so um, that's why, how I got into real estate. And then what do you know? 
<laughs> I uh, fixed and flipped uh, over 20 homes in two years and uh, started to get the attention of others. And um, I didn't use any of my own money because when I started, I didn't have any. And so if there's anyone on this call who's hesitant to join uh, Team A Real Estate or they, I was just talking to a potential student recently and he said, oh, Shri, I can't join real estate right now because I have to save up all this money to buy my first one. And I said, no, that's just, that's just not true. Because if you do that, you're, you know, you're going to be 80 before you can find your, buy your first home. Um, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. that was, that was my, that was my deal as that I was hardworking. Well, I am still hardworking. I'm hardworking. And I, um, yeah, I wanted to use the profit that I made from my fixing and flipping to put as down payments for um, rent to owns for people that were leaving addictions. So that was, that was all that, that kind of, con and, and I, and I did that really well for about two years until I didn't. And uh, then it was like a Ferrari on fire. Just everything kind of came to a stop for me. I took six months out and I started to ask myself, what is it that you really want to do here? Shri? like you're fixing and flipping homes. You're using the profits for down payments to get people into uh, safe, affordable homes but you know what? It takes a long time. Um, and eventually I got like five or six people homes, which is really cool. And, but except for the demand is so great when I walk through my neighborhood. And so I thought to myself, I got to go bigger. Like I just got to go bigger. And so during the six months where I was like trying to figure out, you know, where do I want to go? What do I want to do? Um, I remember December 3rd, I woke up uh, 2019 and I went, oh, I know what I want to do. I want to go and build healthy, sustainable communities, like all at one shot. And so that's when I started to move into uh, commercial developments and it just made sense. And then I had this wonderful opportunity to follow around one of, uh, I think, uh, commercial, one of the best commercial developers in Canada, his name's Troy Grant. And uh, he was so kind that he let me um, like, it was like Yoda and uh, what's the other guy that follows the, that Yoda around in Star Wars? It was kind of like that. I forget his name. Um, Luke Skywalker. Padawan. I was like a Padawan. That's the word. <laughs> and uh, it was a ton of fun. And I learned like a whole amount. Um, and then I launched our Steadfast Developments in 2020. And um, with a vision to revitalize an entire neighborhood. Um, and then I started checking it out. Like, I didn't know that there was all these people, like 15 different people and 15 different successful projects around the North America um, that have gone before me in this revitalization of, of neighborhoods. So that's what I decided I wanted to do. And we launched in 2020. And uh, we are about to close on one of our very first affordable housing projects. I just wanted to mention that one of our goals um, is to become an all-female team in the next five years. And we are moving in the right direction for that. I also wanted to mention that we have a preventative model, um, which is what makes us really different. Um, I love the vision of people that keep jumping into the river and because we're a social, we're justice side of things. We're not just, you know, grabbing people out of the river, but we're going upstream to figure out why are they jumping in the first place and, and stopping them. And that stop model looks like um, offering them affordable housing, uh, mixed affordable housing. It offers um, parks and recs. It offers education. Um, social enterprise and jobs um, and health and wellness. Um, I'm thinking all the things that are key to a revitalization. Um, and that's what our stop model and that's what our preventative model looks like. The other cool thing I think that is uh, different for our steadfast is that we are mixing uh, technology, the latest technology um, in building a, co a commercial, uh, sorry, construction. Um, and we are also uh, adding the environment piece. So we are making sure that we only build with mass timber or sustainable um, products with a zero emissions uh, built. Like we won't 
goes to the regular uh, stick build, so concrete and stick, like that doesn't work for us. So it has to be something uh, forward thinking, especially around the environment. Um, and around the environment, uh, I was just talking to, as we mentioned before, about partnerships. And there's this guy who's got this living walls um, where you can, it's like a living garden that's vertical, like a vertical garden. And so uh, we're, we talked about what, what would that look like for people uh, living in our buildings. And so these partnerships, so everything around environmental solar panels and um, yeah, mass timber or building products. So environmental uh, tech, uh, technology, affordability, and just mixing these things all together, I think is something that's particularly unique about uh, our company and how we want to build. Um, so yeah, so what I wanted to do, um, I'm not sure how to time. Yeah, uh, are you meaning to be sharing your screen right now? No, I'm just about to right now, yes. Oh, okay, yeah, let's <laughs> just okay. double check. So what I wanted to share tonight is, uh, I wanted to share my our first project that's about to close in a few days. Uh, we just bought the property. Um, oh, and I just wanted to, no, I'll do that. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. Uh, our first property uh, that we want to, Kara, I might need your help. How do I get back on? Is it? Mm -hmm. No, click this. Okay, let me share. Oh, and then you click it again. Okay. There we go. Uh, we're just actually changing the name of our project. It was the Gatorian, which means um, coming together, but um, I'm going to change it to the Gatsby um, due to the fact there was uh, a couple that passed away this past um, fall. And in honor of them, uh, I'm going to change the name. So that's what it, uh, it is for now. Um, and then uh, I just wanted to show you um, what we're not about in the in the overview is we're not about building another Vancouver box. I think it's important to have aesthetics be aesthetically pleasing. What I want is people to walk by our buildings and look at it and go, um, that's social housing. Like it does, we're hoping to really break that model of, uh, break that mold, if you will, of what people think of when they think of social uh, housing. Um, uh, the environmental impact, I've already spoken about um, the Gatorian plants, and this is what the, the structure will look like. Uh, we're looking to do 10 stories with great um, Vancouver Harbor views, integrated affordable, uh, sustainable rental housing with market rental housing, so it's not just 100% affordable, because in my research that doesn't work. Um, 150 rental units. Um, community commercial space, which is key, a new medical center, social enterprises, and a community kitchen run by a nonprofit that's already there named Jacob's Well on the ground, bottom ground floor. We, of course, will have a daycare on the second floor and rooftop barbecue and community gardens. And another addition that I've just added is um, office space, um, rental market office space on the top so that uh, people can leave their kids at the daycare and then go upstairs and have a office, quiet office to work. Um, public transit is conveniently located outside our doorstep and walking within uh, distance uh, to Gastown, Chinatown libraries and movie theaters. So this is our location as to where we plan on um, purchasing the property, uh, the project. Um, and we, these are the other uh, locations of where we plan to do like for the whole neighborhood. Um, we are definitely uh, heavy on the two bedrooms and the three bedrooms. Again, developers don't like to do the bigger units because they don't get the, the return. But one of the things that our social impact investors are looking for is a high social return. So they're okay with a lower interest rate um, but they want to see uh, families um, come into the neighborhood and be uh, helped. So that's really key. I do have to say that my total cost of my project, it says 98 million. Um, I brought that down a little bit. Um, 
I don't know if there's any developers on the call, but uh, developers are always changing their numbers. It's a constant, like, um, especially at the beginning, it's like, well, what if we add this? And what if we take away this? So our total pro project cost is still, there's still quite a big gap, but it's between 60 and 80 million. And I know that uh, for those Winnipeg people, they're like, holy crap, that's a lot of money. Um, and it is a lot of money, but you have to remember that the cost of our land is about 14, 15 million. So that alone for four properties. Just for reading four my, you were reading my mind because I was freaking out there. <laughs> so I just wanted to go, that's why it's so much money. And that's one of the reasons people, uh, developers that have those skills to do such a project, they, they can go, okay, I can get X amount of dollars in this poor neighborhood, or I can go to the West End. And clearly everybody goes to the West End because they're just going to make so much more money but I just have a unique perspective as do my investors that uh, we want to be a part of an exciting project that changes lives. So um, yeah, so we're looking for working with CMHC. Uh, we also have a good relationship with the local government and there's a election coming up this year. And even with, um, we're, we're hoping to come in that, was, that has publicly said that they support our project. So that's really key partnerships, local government, um, and so what we're looking to raise is about, it's, it's still a little bit high, um, it's about 40 million and, uh, for the project. And it says completion is two years. Well, we're looking at more like three. Um, and the reason is we're looking at, we can do it in three, whereas a project like this normally would take, if with a stick build, would usually take about four or five. Um, but because we're using the latest technology in construction, we can use a computer to precisely cut um, the mass timber right to the very middle millimeter, which means less waste. And it also means a uh, faster production time. Uh, so we can build, it's crazy, but you can build a floor per week with mass timber. Um, and so that's why we can do such a big project in such uh, a short amount of time. Also, we have local government giving us permits uh, all of our, our necessary permits within um, nine months because they want to see more affordable housing in our neighborhood. Um, investment structure. I like. I, I, we have new marketing material coming out any day, so uh, I'm happy to talk about what we're we're offering right now. If anyone wants to get involved, if they wanted to, um, yeah, if they wanted to talk to me privately after presentation. You can see that this is old material, <laughs> projected timeline. Uh, we were supposed to close on our property on October 2020, um, but we're not closing until now because it's uh, landowners. We buy all of our land off market. So we don't buy anything on market because we don't want to compete. And we also have a very clear vision of what we want. And so we negotiate with uh, off. I prefer off market 100% to on market stuff. So and that's the, that's the only way I really plan to buy. So that's how we do it. And I just have an agent that she's just really good at it. She's amazing. She goes in and she comes out and she says, okay, I got the offer here, sign here. <laughs> and I'm like, holy cow, that's awesome, way to go. Um, so she's, she's definitely on her game. Um, yeah, so that's, a, that's where we're at right now. That's my big vision. Um, that is, um, we're looking, I'm dedicated to this for the next uh, five to 10 years. And um, if anyone has any questions or if anyone would like to be a part of this really exciting, um, life-changing uh, opportunity, I'd love to talk to you more about it. Um, and then when I say life-changing, it might be yours or it might be someone else's or it might be. So thanks for letting me share tonight. Well, thank you so much, Sherry. Um... So yeah, at, th at this point, if anyone had any questions, uh, you can like raise your hand. And I believe technologically here, I can like allow you to like speak if you want to speak, or if you simply were shy and just want to type your question in, you can type it into the chat box. I've got the chat box open. And uh, let me just go back to sharing the PowerPoint there. All right, so I've got lots of different screens going here. As I go back to sharing, I've now lost the participants. <laughs> there we go, sorry. 
All right. Uh, yes. So again, if anyone has any questions, uh, put up your hand or punch them into the chat box. Uh, I think one question that I have here is, so where do we find out more, Sherry? Is it, uh, is, is it, uh, you know, give us your, uh, your website uh, ad address or anything like that? Sure. Uh, my website right now is, well, it still will be, uh, steadfastdevelopments.com. Uh, .com. Okay. Yep. Steadfastdevelopments.com. Uh, my number is 778. Nine six eight eight six one four. Oops, six one four. And oh, yeah. you can call me anytime. Say, you, uh, you actually have to change that uh, in the chat box. You default to host and panelists. You have to change it to everyone, so that people oh, that are actually yes. thank you. Web. Appreciate. That. Yeah, do that. Oh, I I made I made that mistake already tonight. So the first message I sent to Ben was like, uh, Kiara, just went to the panelists. When I. This is to me and how if I click it, that's not me. I don't know where you're clicking. Oh. Over here, see? Down at the bottom of the chat where it says who can see these messages, and it's two, and then there's a thing that says host and panelists in blue. Click on that, it lets you select everyone. Okay. Okay. Or I can cheat and do it for you. That work? Yes, I uh, got the phone number. Yep. And then if you wanted to do the uh, website, and we'll put that out as well in the email that goes out to everyone uh, that was in attendance tomorrow, because the, uh, the Zoom automatically sends an email, a follow up. So we'll get that information out. All right, we'll have we'll have uh, time as well if, if you think of something that you want to ask Sherry, uh, there will be time at the end of the meeting. So uh, just quickly to wrap up here. Um, okay, so why do some people in fact win? Do all these people have in common? People like Sherry, they have hustle, they have commitment to success, they consistently take action. And uh, they've gotten education. So Sherry described all of those things. She had a mentor who was one of the best developers in the country. She consistently took action. She was committed to success and she hustled. And the Teammate Academy is blessed to have people such as Sherry helping you out on, as a coach. And as I mentioned, we have different types of memberships. So if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you, reach out to one of these coaches and just have a strategy session about how we can help you help yourself. So what exactly are you going to learn? You're going to learn how to find a deal, how to find the money. That was the, that was the big one that Sherry mentioned. It's the same, the same thing that I was thinking. I can't get started in real estate. I don't have any money. I have to save up a bunch of money. Vishal, that was the same thing with you, right? You had to start, you know, you started at like 18. It's like, you know, coming out of high school. How much money did you have? <laughs> yeah, not very, right? So, you know, the, that's the big one. It's like, we'll over, help you overcome that. How do I find the money? And once you find the money, how to negotiate the price, how to actually write an offer, like what do you need to do? Put pen to paper, what do you need to sign? Then how to actually get the money into the deal, how to manage the renovation if there's a renovation to be done, then how to manage the business of being a landlord. And if it's a property that you intend to flip, well, how then do you sell it? Or if you hang on to it, how do I refinance it? How do I put together a joint venture? Or in Sherry's case, how do I put together a venture that's got millions and millions of dollars and all these different partners and investors? She's got so much knowledge. So reach out to her, unlock that knowledge. How to open up things like an operating company, how to operate a, or how to open a hold company, how to minimize your taxes, maximize your leverage, and ultimately, if you want to, retire from your job. Or maybe if you, you know, find your calling like Sherry did, transition your job, move from, move from a job at the Salvation Army to a job where you're actually using real estate to you know, completely transform lives and neighborhoods and you know, the, the face of a city. So 
the questions we always get asked though is does this cost money will i have to do any work will i have to get out of my comfort zone and will i get my first deal done well the answer to all of these is yes of course it's going to cost some money but it's not money that you're spending on starbucks or a boat this is an investment in yourself will you have to do work well, of course you have to do work both to learn the knowledge you have to take time to study but you also have to take time to implement actually take the take action and will i have to get out of my comfort zone well if you stay in your comfort zone you're going to get exactly what you got in 2021 2022 will look like exactly like 2021 if you want to have a better 2022 you have to get out of your comfort zone doing what you did yesterday will not get you a different tomorrow and will I get my first deal done? Yes, it's a guarantee. We'll stay with you as long as it takes. And some people, like Vishal mentioned earlier, one of his students gets a deal done like right away, like six days, you know, but that's not everyone. There are other people who are far, far, you know, more comfortable moving at their own pace. There's no right way or wrong way. If it takes you six months to get your first deal, that's fine. It's still gonna change your life. If it takes you two years, that's fine. It's still gonna change your life. Get your second deal, maybe you just speed it up and you get your second property in only one year. Well, that's fine. That's still two properties three years from now. It's a lot more than what you've got now. So I want, so I want you here in 2022 to make, to make a pledge with me. Put aside, put aside just, just an, an hour, hour a day. day. You know, you know, whether it's getting, getting up a little bit earlier or I don't, or I don't really encourage that if you're having actually sleep. sleep. But maybe you maybe know, watch, watch a little bit less than that. Spend a little bit less than that on social media. 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 Find that, find that hour, but that hour, that hour adds up. up. It'll be a day, a day, a week. That gives you four days a month, a month. In those four days a month, a month, that's 52 days in a year. And you go and look, and look at just one property, property in a week. week. You make one offer in a month, a month and do one deal in the next year, it's going to change your life. And if you do it often enough, you can do what Sherry's done and change other people's lives as well. So that's something that's really important. So just want to mention, we have, of course, our new residential investing secrets course. It's online. It's $39.95 plus tax. So this is everything that you need to, look, to know about residential investing. It's interactive lessons, excuse me, uh, featuring industry subject matter experts, all of our coaches contributing to serve as your personal guide and we guide you through virtual training modules. It's a web-based system that's accessible anywhere on any device. You can do your training from your home, from your office. You can do it from a campsite. You can do it from a canoe if you've got a web connection, but you learn at your own pace online. We know that real estate investing can seem overwhelming when you're getting started. You might look at Sherry and say, like, project? Like, how many million? And just say, well, that's like, I could never do that. Well, we've made it simpler by putting this together in an online training. So imagine being able to learn everything you need to get your real estate business up and running as quickly as possible. Imagine being able to take the training with you whenever you want. Do it on your laptop, on your phone, on your tablet. The platform works with all of these and helps you learn whenever and wherever it's convenient for you. With virtual interactivity, the uniquely designed testing mechanisms allow you to actively participate and engage during the training to ensure re you retain as much knowledge as possible from each training module. The easy to use interface is a simple web-based platform. If you've been on the web, you can use this. It makes it simple for everyone to learn. You don't need to be a tech superstar to use this system. You simply log in and you will start your training with just a few mouse clicks. Simple as using Facebook. And it's got built-in accountability because we know that accountability is a staple of successful learning. Unlike other platforms, you'll be able to track, measure, and monitor your progress, to see how you're doing, and make sure that you achieve success. Also wanted to mention uh, our coach and panelist tonight, Chris McKenzie. His new course in commercial investing secrets is also out, $39.95 plus tax. And get it now while it's in beta because it's going to go up once I finish essentially making the online interactive version of the commercial course. And this is the collected wisdom of Chris's decades in commercial real estate. And a full release will be later in 2022, essentially once I finish getting the, uh, 
the technology part of it done. So we mentioned you want to take action and book a strategy session. So book a strategy session if you have any questions, if you have any curiosity, if you want to know how real estate can help you achieve your life goals, make that life that you desire. Here's the emails of all our coaches and they'll be up right at the end of it. So what's next? Remember your plan for 2022. Learn something new, make that decision, book that strategy session. Remember to attend the next meeting, February 22nd. That's the fourth Tuesday of the month for my birthday party. Woohoo! And there will be cake if you come out in person. So what's next for you? Achieving results. So I also wanted to mention, join us Tuesdays at 8 p.m. for student workshops. These are specialized training workshops with coaches Vishal and myself. The other coaches are always welcome to join in as well. And if you're interested in a Zoom link for that, that's every Tuesday night in this same time slot. So the other three Tuesdays of the month, uh, Vishal at guliani.ca for the Zoom link. So now at this point, if there are any questions for Sherry or any of the other coaches, and then I'll put the, uh, the email addresses back up there for strategy sessions. So at this point, I'll just turn it over to the floor if there are any questions. Vishal, do you have anything you wanted to say? Okay. Well, thank you very much, Sherry. We really appreciate you taking the time. I know it's uh, I know it's a lot nicer out there. We're very jealous, those of us that now have to go out into that minus 40 stuff <laughs> in a little bit. Uh, but uh, thank you very kindly. And we really appreciate you not just presenting tonight, but also what you're doing there in Vancouver. It's, you know, it's, it's so much more than what I think we've traditionally associated with real estate and the positive impact that you can have on the community, the environment, all of that together. That's, uh, it's really speaks to all of us that we need to elevate our game. So I really, I, I myself really admire what you're doing. So thank you so much. All right. Thank you, everyone. And with that, we'll call it an evening. So take care. Uh, stay warm, stay well, and uh, we'll see you next month. Bye now.